you doing today guys? Just here with a video, a gold farming video on one of my favorite dungeons and spots to farm. It's located, it's Uldaman, it's located in Badlands in the Eastern Kingdoms just down here and it's up here in a little cave up here. And you just head in and, and you can find it pretty simply. Alright, I run this on a monk, it's a lot simpler on a monk because <laughs> you got an ability the ox statue, black ox statue, and you got your rolls, and also the bear tartar allows you to run faster with it. So I usually equip the bear tartar because it's very cheap to buy or make. And if I need a speed boost, I can just kill something, get a speed boost, and use that. This is a route I usually take. It's pretty nice and simple route. You're more than welcome to copy me or find a best suits you. I also use Jade Lightning to pull because it, if you start a step, you should be able to pull without actually killing it. I'm also an engineer, so when I do kill it with Bear Tata, I can use my Looter Ring. Just quickly loot it. makes the monk the best one of farming this is with the black ox statue you can put it in every single room because it's got such a short cooldown and it will just pull everything very nice this is one of my favorite dungeons to farm because it has the chance to get some of the rarest items in game. So you get your just your normal transmog gear which are worth, you know, between 100 gold to a couple of thousand gold each. Then you've got the real rares like the Jinsu Sword, Pendum of Doom, the Papal Fez and the Miner's Hat. If you get one of those, they sell very well. Might not sell straight away but, you know, if you just chuck it on the auction house, just check on it once in a while, it'll eventually sell. Alright, so when I do cast my Black Ox statue, instead of going up to here to click it every single time, I've just made a macro to cancel it, so you just click and it disappears. I'll have a link in the description for you guys. Wow, these stuns. <laughs> Yeah, I'll put a link in the description so you guys can use it if you'd like. But don't cancel it straight away, because it takes probably like one second for the taunt to activate. I personally have never got it on any of the rarest items, but I haven't run it too much. When I do get it one day, hopefully it will be on one of my videos. Alright, so you can just mob everything from the start to here. Just wait for everything to come over. You want to make sure you also kill the last boss, the final boss, because after the final boss, you got the chest, and that's where most of the rare items are. You can still get rare items from this, but you mainly want to see if you can get it from the other way. Range of shoulders. Nothing really rare. I usually average around 40,000 an hour, what do you call looted item value, but of course I'm here for the rarest items not for, you know, the trashier stuff, but it does fill my auction house. Alright so I've nearly completed the dungeon, this is the last room. 
just chuck your statue in the corner and while you cast and put a channel on this. Because it takes a lot of time for his IP. Just reminds me of Invincibles. Alright, so we got nothing rare from the last one, but, you know, hope you do guys get something rare. So, another reason to run it with the monk. This is when I'm done, instead of the long walk back, you can just go Zel Zen Pilgrimage. It does have a one minute cooldown, but it gives you time to vendor all your stuff and sell whatever you need to. Of course. I'm an engineer, so I've got my mailbox if I need to, and I just leave my character here always. I mostly put everything on the auction house just because it's easier. Someone out there will buy it. Alrighty, just finished the one hour run of Uldaman, and I got a looted item value of 55,444 gold. Just some casual items, nothing special this run. So that was my rarest item, which average sale would be. 10.5k and just some random other junk like this which is around 200 I've mailed most of the things to my alt so it can sell and I'll just leave my character here thanks for watching and I will link a in the description for my cancelling the totem thanks for watching have a good one